welcome to my channel i'm rita and in this channel i talk about life in the uk as a mom of two and uh you know experiences my experience my reality and uh just basically what i do my day-to-day -day activities and uh if you like quality content if you like fun if you like gist if you like you know anything that could just make life a little bit easy so subscribe to my channel and you in for fun so i'm a mom of two in the uk and i work part-time and i do other side hustles and i just recently started this vlog you know to just document my experience document my reality what i'm facing what my typical day looks like what i expected and you know reality generally my experience and if you're planning to you know come to the uk for studies or you know a better life i just stay tuned to my channel because i get to share how you could navigate how what you should expect what you should do how you could get jobs stuff like that in fact my my vlog is just basically live in the uk so if you just subscribe and turn on the notification so guys, the kids are finally awake and uh, it's time to give them a bath and what I'm trying to do here is to sort out their clothes, you know, pick out the clothes that they're going to wear for the day and after that, I'm going to go and give them a bath. So I just, this is, I just pick the clothes, pick the clothes for my daughter, so this is what she's going to wear. So. This is what I face. He's jumping on the bed. That's Malcolm. Hello, Malcolm. Say hi. Malcolm woke up with remote. <laughs> so, guys, this is my bathroom. So, I'm going to make a bath, prepare a bath for the kids while I'm bedroom. My husband is <laughs> asking for his slippers. So imagine someone just woke up and the person is asking me slippers. Where is my slippers? They get to ask me everything. Where is my this? Where is my that? Where is my clothes? Where is my shoes? Where is my this? So I get to know how where everything is in their house. I see motherhood is not stressful enough, so he has to add his own problem to my own. <laughs> But that's what marriage is basically all about. So you get to do everything for an adult. So I'm not surprised anyways. So I've finished making water for the kids. So what I need to do is just bring them and then shower them. And that's it. So that's just how my morning is going. So, so far, I still have a lot to do. Because after bathing them, I still need to go down to the kitchen, make breakfast and you know, so it's basically lot so this is sarah my daughter <laughs> she doesn't want to show her face hi baby girl so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just bear her down and then still get her ready because she just woke up sarah is not feeling fine at the moment she's under the weather so they both currently are not feeling fine so. I have two toddlers that I'm dealing with, you know, trying to get them to get feel better, feel well. So that's it. So I put her in the, the bath now will be just better. So guys, how come is done baiting? So what I do now is just to dress him, get him ready for the day so we could go down and then just make breakfast for the day. So that's what I'm going to do now, put it on his bed. <laughs> this is still John, he's doing his laundry. 
should be helping me to do my laundry. Instead of doing this, you are doing it. You should be helping me to do my laundry. What's your role as a wife? Oh, you know what? He doesn't know that in the UK there are no gender roles. A man gets to sweep, a man gets to wash, a man gets to do everything. No, I so married you in Nigeria, not in UK. So you oh, need to act as the Nigerian wife, not oh, UK wife. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a UK wife now because I, no, you can't I don't be. get to do I anything. married you in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Look at you. <laughs> typical. These are the typical Nigerian men. So when they come like this, they are shocked that uh, you know the reality is changing. The narrative is changing. Like he can't do his laundry. He expected to do laundry, do everything, and at the end of the day, take care of the kids. So for those Nigerian men coming, thinking that a wife will do everything for you, sorry, you're gonna be in for a shock. Because you know that you have to wash your plate, you have to wash your clothes, you have to take care of the kids, change diapers, so definitely. Sorry! So No, that ain't gonna work. No. <laughs> it's working already because you're washing. <laughs> so we're done baiting and the kids are sitting down. Malcolm is on his iPad and Sarah is watching Coco Melon. So I'm just trying to kick start the day. They've changed. And now what I basically say while waiting for my husband to get milk because we ran out of milk yesterday and I uh, couldn't go out yesterday to buy milk. So while waiting for him to come back, what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna wash these dishes, just clean them, take the place ready. So that when he comes back, I can quickly fix breakfast. I have got a dishwasher, but I can't really use it at the moment because I try to look for the soap to buy. I've checked Tesco, I've checked Lidl, I've checked Asta. I still can't find the dishwasher soap. So practically I need to use my hand to wash this. And that's just it. So it's going to be a very busy morning. because So I'm still yet to do so many things. And probably now that my kids are sick, the two of them are currently under the weather because the weather in the UK now is really chilly. It's really cold. And when it gets cold like this, everybody's you know gets sick quickly. They've gotten their flu vaccine, they've gotten but it doesn't really help. So and when they are sick like this, it's like double of the work because you have to try your best to calm them down. Both of them will be needing things at the same time. My son will need iPad. So guys, I just I have a gist and I just want to talk to those who are coming to the UK as a family. If you're coming to the UK as a family, definitely you're going to have a tough time, especially if you've got kids or you're pregnant. The reality is that you're going to, you know, have to adjust. In UK, there are no gender roles. Like, unlike in Nigeria, a woman, you know, walks, a woman goes to work, a woman cooks, a woman clean, a woman do laundry, a woman do everything. Like, the men actually expect a woman to do everything and at the end of the day they still expect you to know you know what to just do your duty in the other room <laughs> but in the uk when you come to uk as a husband as a family as a wife the truth is you're not gonna do everything everybody can has to be on date the men that couldn't clean in nigeria the men that couldn't sweep in nigeria the men that couldn't you know cook in nigeria they will have to learn how to do all these things because as a woman let's say you leave work you leave the house let's say 6 p.m to for a night shift and then you come back in the morning let's say by probably 8 9 a.m so who's gonna do why you're away who's gonna do all these things who's gonna who's gonna clean who's gonna take care of the kids definitely the husband so if you are a man you feel like oh i am not gonna clean i don't clean i don't cook i don't sweep sorry to bust your bubble because you know what you're gonna do more than just that you're gonna change diaper you're gonna learn how to babysit you're gonna learn how to do a whole lot of things so when you're coming just cut off that i don't do this i'm the boss i'm the husband i'm this it doesn't work in uk because the truth is women can't do it all we we women can't do it all so what like now my husband is out to get milk Unlike in Nigeria, you might not really want to go out to get milk because it feels like, you know. But here, while I'm washing, while I'm cleaning, while I'm looking after the kids, he has to go out to get milk. 
and it's coming back when it's coming back you will have to do a lot of things so today is the day it gets to like spend time at home because we work full time why i stay at home to you know to where i work to i work part time but we recently relocated to a new location so it's really hard for me to get a job close by so why is doing all this i'm at home now attending to the kid why is still looking for a job close by so that's the reality in uk so if you're coming as a man and you feel like i don't want to work i don't want to clean i don't want to please just re remove that you are not gonna be the boss you're gonna be the boss quite all right but you have to learn how to help your wife you have to learn how to assist your wife because here truly there are no gender roles everybody is equal everybody is you know you bring money i bring money unlike in nigeria you just provide but in the uk everybody we've got bills to pay we've got lots of things to do do you have anything to say john <laughs> if he doesn't have anything to say that he's tired of me but the he need a wife he need a wife replacement that's awesome okay so I want you to replace me. No problem. The feeling is mutual, actually. <laughs> Wife available. So anyone that wants to replace me, please show face. Wife role is available. Wife role is available for anyone that wants to replace me. criteria for a wife replacement so if you're looking to replace me you rest assured that you have free breakfast free dinner free lunch and what else that's enough now let's see let's see let's see the applicant <laughs> <laughs> so you need applicant so he's replacing me because i've not put his clothes in the washing machine so he said you need a wife replacement which i'm not against it because actually i'm tired of it <laughs> so please if you know anyone that is looking for a husband in UK, please feel free to John, give it to him. <laughs> John is <Yeah>. dancing. <laughs> dancing while cleaning. So you will see why I told you that in UK this <laughs> my husband is the best. He's cleaning. Oh John, oh, John, do you have anything to say? Not even love, Johnny. Johnny, see, as you can see, I'm this good luck to you and your friends. Okay, so I told you people that in UK there's no gender role. <laughs> this is what I've found a typical Nigerian man into. <laughs> Nigerian man is cleaning. So, guys, this is a typical day in my life. Like the Saturday mornings is always really really busy so when you wake up like this you just have to like take care of everyone feed the kids feed the kids you can hear my husband is quarreling do you know what the quarrel is about because i didn't ask i didn't make breakfast which i asked him what do you want to eat and he said he doesn't know what he wants to eat so how am I supposed to figure out what somebody wants to eat? What if I make the one that he doesn't want to eat? And at the end of the day... And you see, Malcolm is still dragging me. Ha 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 ha, because he's not feeling fine. He wants to be all over me. So is it like in the UK for a typical woman? It's not really easy because everyone wants a piece of you. <laughs> He said it's easy, so please, you should tell me how easy it is. You've seen me yeah. since morning, I've done so many things, and just to sit down, I can't sit down. See Malcolm, Malcolm is all over me. So 
So this is Malcolm Regal. Oh. So I'm still trying to at least just try and relax more. So probably he has gone to make his breakfast after foraging. So he's trying to figure out what he will eat since he didn't tell me what he wants to eat. So this is typical how a typical Nigerian a Nigerian woman without you know support with children especially when your kids are still very young my boy is like three and my daughter is a year plus so you could see that it's very difficult when you have a, a husband that works full time and then probably you as a woman you have to work so life is not really easy both parties both hands has to be on deck before you could you know achieve something useful normally if the day is not at home probably works i get to do everything but today he has been at home because it's weekend so he has assisted in cleaning the house which is a very good thing so please the cleaning of the house is off my my plan today so i'm just trying to you know probably relax wait for the cake and then did you hide my tv remote see what is what in god's name is wrong with this this man he's asking me for tv remote can See, I'm, I'm trying to record something. Come on, John. He's asking me for TV remote. Very soon, he's gonna ask me where is my socks. Next minute, where is where? Because you keep all my things. I don't know why you hide them. He said I hide all these things. How do I hide all these things? You people should just help me, eh? Why is this Nigerian men like this? Just they like stressing women. I'm hiding his remote. How am I hiding his remote? Oh, wow. Why should I even hide his remote in the first place? That's the question everybody So asks. everybody should just be helping with this man. Because I think this man today is not in the mood for peace. Is he in for war? Yes, I'm in for war. Yeah, he said he's in for war. So imagine he be waking up and choosing violence. He's not a preacher of love. So my guy, so guys, so that's just it. So if you're coming to the UK as a family, if you're coming to the UK, maybe your young couples, you know definitely it's gonna take a toll on you because you wake up and your husband is gone, and probably you came with maybe two, three children, and probably you're still trying to sort out school for them. They've not started school, so you have to take care of them. You have to be at home. Two people cannot work at the same time because one person has to be at home. So the husband might work the day your husband work, he might work in the day and you get to work in the night. So it's just like everybody, there's no gender role, like I said earlier, there's no gender role. You say I can't do this, I can't do this. So everybody just have to find a balance. So sometimes you take it toll on couples for the young couples because you don't have time to probably bond with your your wife, your husband and probably born with your children too so but it's not like it's not doable or it's not achievable but you just have to marry or be with someone that is you know, supportive so right now i'm still waiting so i just want to relax and just drink a cup of tea i'm still waiting for the cake okay. how many minutes do we have to wait for this oh god have so he's still, why is he still waiting for his cake and why I'm still relaxing? I just want to chill and then probably go and you know cook. I, I need to make food for lunch. So and you have not eaten if you notice I haven't eaten. So I'm still trying to sort out, take care of everyone. So at the end of the day, you just keep taking care of everyone. Oh, he's taking care of you. I'm eh? taking care of he's you. not taking care of me because yeah. he's busy stressing me. When you're coming to the UK, you could buy all this African stuff. If you like eating Nigerian food, you could buy them from African shops. They are quite a lot, but it's really, really it's expensive. So like this fish, I don't want to tell you the price. So, But I have someone that do supply them to me, so I don't have to go to the shops. So guys, this is what I'll be using for the soup. I have obono, I have pepe and onions, I have crayfish, and I have okra. And for the Eurobars, I don't know what what is it that you could have against putting onions in your okra because I I heard that you're not supposed to use it. Um, aquaibo, calabar. So we we don't really see any difference. So we just use it to probably 
make the soup taste better or smell better but my husband said you don't get to use it as a Yoruba person so please I would like to you know comment below and tell me why as a Yoruba person why you don't use onions in your okra soup because I find it you know <laughs> I find it weird so guys this is the soup is ready I'm going to serve it with um, oatmeal I'll make oatmeal swallow with it for everyone and I'm just gonna clean the, the gas cooker because everywhere is, is dirty splash everywhere so thank you for staying with me today and if you like my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification and if you've got any comments any question that anything about the UK that you probably want to know just ask in the comment section and I'll find time to reply you so